as we have already studied the overview of fermentation and also studied in detail the lactic acid fermentation now in this video we'll be discussing about alcoholic fermentation that's also called as ethanol fermentation because the final product in this fermentation process formed is ethanol that's why it's called ethanol fermentation also in ethanol or alcoholic fermentation the glucose molecule is broken down into ethanol that means here the glucose molecule acts as substrate and the final product we get from ethanol fermentation is ethanol this glucose molecule goes through a process called glycolysis and forms pyruvate then the pyruvate gets ultimately converted into ethanol as this alcoholic fermentation is found in lower eukaryotes that's yeast here the substrate as i have already told you the glucose molecule gets converted into ethanol the final product here so how it is different from lactic acid fermentation in case of lactic acid fermentation we have seen the glucose molecule is broken down into lactate or we can say lactic acid here the glucose molecule is six carbon compound that's the glucose molecule has six carbons in its structure and then the final product formed in lactic acid fermentation is lactate that's three carbon compound but here the two molecules of lactates are formed so we get three multiplied by two we get total six carbons so no carbon is lost here the product the substrate has six carbons here the final product also has six carbons here at the end of reaction but in case of alcoholic fermentation it's a little bit of different in case of number of carbons here in the ethanol fermentation we have the same glucose molecule with six carbons in it and the final product formed here is ethanol which has got only two carbons in it but two molecules of ethanol are formed here so we get ultimately the four carbons when we multiply it with two two into two that's the four carbon here so where are those next to two carbons where they are gone or the lost no in this process we also get carbon dioxide the two molecules of carbon dioxide so we get the waste product here or we can say a byproduct here in the form of carbon dioxide gas now let's see in detail how the alcoholic fermentation occurs in the ethanol fermentation first we have the glucose molecule here that's the sugar molecule and this sugar molecule gets converted into pyruvate molecule through the process of glycolysis as we have already seen in lactic acid fermentation and here the glucose molecule it has got six carbons in it and the pyruvate has got three carbons in it but these are the two molecule formed here so we get ultimately the six carbons again here so this process the whole process from glucose to pyruvate is glycolysis and it drives through the process of forming ATP also here the two ADP molecules that's adenosine diphosphate combines the two inorganic phosphates and gives us two ATP molecules here and also in this process there is formation of NADH from NAD positive that's from nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide and this NAD positive gets reduced to NADH because this NAD positive gains electron here so we get two NADH molecules here and also we get the two protons here so from now the fate of pyruvate molecule is determined by presence or absence of oxygen molecule in the cell so after this glycolysis process if a cell can make use of oxygen as a final electron etc the pyruvate will go through etc and oxidative phosphorylation thereby giving more and more atp and also in the electron transport chain the nadh also liberates 2.5 atps per nadh molecule so we can say the nadh also gives energy here but here in the case of fermentation the oxygen but here in the case of fermentation the oxygen molecule is not a final electron acceptor here as that's why pyruvate is acted upon by pyruvate decarboxylase and gets converted into two acetal aldehyde compound which is a two carbon compound here so we get ultimately the four carbon because two acetal aldehyde molecules gives four carbon molecules and in this reaction pyruvate decarboxylase also removes two carbon molecules from two pyruvate molecules in the form of carbon dioxide so total number of molecules in this reaction are six carbons and now we have a compound that has got only two carbons in it after the formation of intermediate here that's acetal aldehyde this compound is broken down into ethanol the final product here, and we get two molecules of ethanol as a final product and this reaction is catalyzed by alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme and in this last step of conversion the NADH gets oxidized back to NAD positive that's nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide because here the NADH cannot further produce ATP as ETC is absent here that's why it's oxidized back to NAD positive to make it available for glycolysis again and again and the cycle of reduction and oxidation 
continues here in yeasts and some bacteria. This alcoholic fermentation is seen in yeasts and some species of bacteria like Zymomonas mobilis. Ethanol fermentation has many uses including the production of alcoholic beverages, the production of ethanol fuel and bread baking. This is all about alcoholic fermentation or we can say ethanol fermentation. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.